Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Rose Colored Goggles with Sacrifice. So, Sacrifice is a uh, an old game uh, from uh, year 2000 is when it originally came out, made by Shiny Entertainment, the guys that uh, brought us Earthworm Jim, and uh, is probably one of the more formative games of my childhood. It is a 3D real-time strategy, and this is in an era where full 3D games were in their infancy. I remember having to upgrade my video card just to play this beast to a Voodoo 2. Uh, for the, you uh, hardware files out there uh, remembering uh, hardware manufacturers of days gone by. Anyway, uh, one of the uh, most impressive things about this game is its story and voice acting. For a game of its era, the, the, the way they structured the story and the quality of the voice acting, I would argue, is probably on Mass Effect levels. Uh, original Mass Effect, not uh, an add-on. <laughs> and the animations are Andromeda quality. <laughs> oh, but I digress. Um... No, it's it's it, it is an awesome game, um, and the way the game works allows me to create kind of a, a an interesting way that we're going to be doing this series, uh, which I'll explain a little bit later on here. Now, being that this is such a good story and the voice acting is so good, when we are in cutscenes, I will not be skipping them. When characters are talking, I will not be talking. Uh, this is not a kind of game where you just yada 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 the story along. Not to mention, I mean, the, the gameplay is awesome by itself, but the story is equally awesome, so we're going to be enjoying both. Without any further ado, let us begin a new campaign. Now, since this is the uh, only... Um, uh, well, here, I'm going to just delete this one just to make sure that I can... Uh, uh, just to make sure I can uh, uh, start from the very beginning here. Uh, Eldred is the canonical name of this dude, but uh, yeah, we'll be Pinstar. Alright folks, let's get started. I'll see you guys on the flip side since, uh, yeah, lots of, lots of talking, lots of cutscenes, so I'll be quiet. It has begun. We're too late again, Master. All dead. <laughs> you! I begin to think the cause of this destruction cannot be other than myself. Master! My dark experiments come to a most wicked end. Master! What is it? <laughs> Who's there? That voice. Is that? Yes, Mithras, tis I. It seems you are to be my salvation after all. I am no one's salvation. I am a pawn of doom itself. What? You speak in riddles, sir. I wonder if even my wisdom can decipher them. We should try and see if you can find sense where I have failed. Where to begin? In the realm that was my home, I had devoted my life to study of the arcane, 
No pursuit was too perilous. No sacrifice too great. Until... Well... Under the many heavens and in the many worlds, there are darker things than men may dream of. By mere good fortune, recent experiments in conjuration had ensnared me this imp. Last time I fought for that one, believe you me. Only through his guidance was I able to travel across the astral void. And that is how I came here. What a strange and beautiful world I beheld, but dangerous too, I was certain. And I was friendless and homeless, and so I prayed. Hear me, exalted spirits. Hear me, be you gods or devils, ye who hold dominion here. I am a wizard without a home. I am a wanderer seeking refuge. Wander no more, child. To Elysium come, and join the armies of our faithful. Wage righteous battle against the iniquity of the Infernal Lord. Pyro's factories are not iniquity. Do they not befoul all that is pure? Are they not the very instrument of desecration? Yet their ruinous encroachment continues unabated. If the sanctity of the Davin Forest is violated, what land lies not in jeopardy? Jeopardy? I bring progress to the forest. There is no progress without justice. What you call justice is bondage to outmoded ways. Pyro's followers will never accept such foolishness. But you have no followers in Davin, Pyro. I can fix that. How? dare you. <laughs> Typical. Do not despair, Wanderer. These two paragons of virtue are not the only gods around here. I, for one, can offer you untold knowledge. Such promises. Knowledge, justice, progress. What value hold these without conflict? What is a life devoid of strife? Peaceful. That's not so bad in my book. I didn't know you could read. Hearing their petty squabbles, my heart lightened. Any of these gods would welcome my talents. The choice would be mine. Approach a statue to learn more. So, here we are in a brand new world. Choose. Choose a God. Uh, all right, all right, guys, guys. Choose wisely. Guys, guys. I, I, Choose or die. Channel, give him time. I didn't realize they kept talking if you stood up there. Anyway, uh, so yeah, five gods, um, five different first missions. Depending on which god you serve, the mission that we start the game with uh, will be different. Also, um, every mission that you take, every every time you serve a god, uh, you get a certain uh, creature or creatures and a spell of that god. So what our starting creatures will be and our starting spells will be, will be determined by which god. Um, so this is where you guys come in, you, the audience. Uh, in the description, there will be a straw poll. And uh, my loyal viewers, I want you to vote. I want you to vote on who I should serve. Now, before you make that decision, uh, I'm going to go and visit each of the altars because they will give us a little bit more information about who they are, what they're about, and what our first mission with them is going to be. Uh, so uh, let us, uh, let's take a little tour, shall we? We are Persephone. We are the essence of life. You have seen us in the sweet virgin, the gentle mother, and the wise crone. Love us, and we shall requite thy love a hundredfold. Would you be a servant of justice and strive against the hand of wickedness? Show us. Carry our message of peace to the quarreling gnomes in Pelinam. 
All right, that is Persephone. I am James, god of Earth. You know, rocks and soil and stuff. Some nice gems, too. Oh, it's not all brown and gray, you know. Just mostly. One of my altars has been abandoned, and I'd like to know why. Please go and, and see what you can see. And our friend James? I am Stratos, god of air and supreme lord of the heavens, bringer of storms, mover of the firmament. Um, let's to be honest, shall we? In any halfway civilized world, I would be the only god. Forget all this other nonsense. If you wish to learn something of your new home, I will send you with Sarah Bella to unravel one of the older mysteries of this place. And our friend Stratos. Pyro, god of fire. They will tell you I am god of destruction and chaos, but that's not really true. I am the spark of imagination and the engine of industry. I am the bringer of knowledge and the bearer of light. I intend to build factories in the Davon Forest, which is a haven for antiquated druidic thinking. All who do not flee will be enriched by my triumph. You, not least of all. Our friend Pyro, and last but not least, Charnel. I am Charnel, god of strife, god of slaughter, god of death. Where there is pain, I am there. Where there is suffering, I flourish. Where there is joy, yes, well, one could hardly have joy without another's suffering. No. One of my followers has, how do you say, strayed from the flock. I need one such as you to gently usher him back into the fold. All right. So once again, check the description uh, for the straw poll in which you can vote on which of these five gods I will be serving. Now, the way this series is going to work is I'm only going to be rele releasing one episode per week on Sunday. So you have until now, until uh, uh, I'd say about Saturday evening uh, to uh, to get your votes in. Uh, because Saturday evening is when I'll record the next episode in the series. And then after I choose the god that has been voted on, uh, I will put up a new poll to vote on the next god that we will serve. It can be the same god. It could be a different god. Depending on, the, uh, on how the story shapes out, our options will narrow themselves down, but uh, we will always have a choice. Also, for those of you who really want to sway things, uh, my Patreon uh, subscribers get to vote on a separate poll, which will get merged into the results of the straw poll. So you essentially can get double votes if you are, uh, uh, if you are a patron. So check out my Patreon page if you are interested. Otherwise, go vote in the poll, and I will see you guys next week. Uh, Pinstar, out.